let's learn a bit about the Cuban Los Brigadistas. Forgive my terrible Spanish. The Brigadistas and the Cuban Literacy Campaign. In 1959, the Cuban Revolution won state power. The official literacy rate prior was a dismal 56%. The rural community had no access to education, health care, or electricity. Yet in just one year, 1961, Cuban literacy was raised to 96%. And today, it is 100%. This was possible largely due to the grassroots student work of the Conrado Benitez Brigadistas, which not only paved the way for literacy, but women's liberation. Schools were shut down in April in order to support the program. After a single week of training and preparation, over 100,000 students, mostly young girls, some as young as 10 years old, scoured rural Cuba with nothing but textbooks, kerosene lanterns, and a democratic centralist organizational strategy. By the end of the year, over 700,000 adults had learned to read. But it wasn't just literacy that was transformed. The overwhelming participation of women in the campaign was in itself an expression of their own movement for emancipation. The militarization of education had given women, who were still largely treated as domestic objects prior to the revolution, an outlet by which to leave home without consent from the men in their lives and express their autonomy. The result was a radical transformation of society in which women were free equals not just in the eyes of the law, but in the attitudes of the masses themselves. Thanks to Freedom Road for these slides. Freedom Road Socialist Organization can be followed on Twitter at Freedom Road Org. Revolution, Socialism, Liberation. We are a national organization of revolutionaries fighting for socialism in the United States. Freedom Road Socialist Organization runs Fight Back News.